Hello everybody, Beastquarklehausen here, and it's time for my biggest set review ever. This is the 10219 Maersk Train. Yeah, it's my first non-city review, I think, off the top of my head. And this is a fantastic set. In fact, I liked it so much, I bought two. I've only built one so far, you can see it here. But I've bought two. That's a sealed box. The other box is over there. Yeah. Uh, so this train is 36 inches long, uh, ages 14 and up, 1,234 pieces, and costs in the United States $119.99. Uh, you get three minifigures, they're all taking a nap over here, uh, and yeah, I'll show you those first. So here are the minifigures. Uh, they're all largely the same. You've got a Maersk blue construction helmet, an orange safety vest, a printed blue torso, which I'll show you in just a moment, and some dark blue legs. Uh, one of them has the smiling old guy face, the other one has the standard aviator glasses face, and the other one has that new uh, weird glasses, smiling face, looks like he has big eyes. Uh, you can see them all pretty well here, and I'm just turning this guy around for you. Uh, Without the vest on, you get a really cool print, and I'll show that to you right now. So yeah, you can see the print there. It's really cool. It's got a metallic zipper and an ID badge, and it just looks really good. Uh, so far, this torso is exclusive to this set. You can only get it in this. So yeah, that's about enough of the minifigures. And now it's time to go on to the little yard truck. So this is the truck, and as you can see, it's asymmetrical, which is kind of cool. I mean. It's the cab part is off center, but it's completely off center, which I think is kind of weird. I wish it was kind of a little more in the middle. It looks pretty bizarre. Uh, overall, though, I like this truck. It's a really good. It adds a lot of playability. You can have stuff for the containers to go. Uh, cab fits a minifigure. It's got two rearview mirrors, uh, warning light on top, uh, Mayor's logo up there. There it is. And actually, the truck has a lot of Mayor's blue. You can see it's all coal coating of Mayer's glue on both sides and that's pretty much the reason why a lot of people would buy this set just for this blue so I mean the truck is very good for that uh, if you take the trailer off you can see that it's got mud flaps with the Mayer's logo on them and a license plate says APM 1904 1904 was the year Mayer's line was founded and APM is the initials of the founder uh, onto the trailer I've put one of the containers, just one of the normal gray ones, on it. Uh, it has a little foot for standing by itself. It also has a uh, license plate to mud flaps. This one says ML 1928. Uh, 1928 was the year they renamed, they named Mayer's Glein, Mayer's Glein, and ML, of course, is Mayer's Glein. Uh, you can, whoops, broke something. But you can see here that there's a good assortment of Mayer's glue on this trailer as well. And you get two small stickers on the side just to remind you that this is Mayer's. Uh, trail a container. There are two identical ones, so I'm just going to do this one. Uh, it's gray. Every single piece is gray in this. Uh, you got two stickers that say Mayer's on the side, two on the back, which are impossible to put on straight. I got my dad actually to do this. Uh, on the bottom, they got little feet so they can stack. On the top, they've got little grills so they can stack. The door's open, and I don't think there's anything inside. But you don't buy this a container train so you can get a truck, do you? You buy this so you can get a train, so it's time to review that next. So I've just realized that the whole train doesn't fit into the reviewing area. So here's the locomotive. This thing is massive. It's a whole lot of studs long. It's longer than the container cars, which use the longest train base they have. They took an, a normal sized train base and added on a whole bunch to either side. Uh, this thing, it's six studs wide as usual, but six plus details, so I mean these hang over the side and other things hang over the edge. But I mean, I still can't stress just how awesome this engine looks. It's incredibly realistic, big modern American train engine we just haven't gotten this type of model from Lego really ever. I mean, even the Burlington Northern Santa Fe engine from a while ago kind of looked kind of, I don't know how to say it, but dumbed down, just like kind of added curves and things where they shouldn't be. 
this doesn't have a single curve. This is except for the fuel tank, but I mean this thing is big and you can tell it means business. It's got a lot of really cool details too. You got uh, radiator fans on the top, a vent, some boxes on the roof that can be like air conditioning, I guess, that little box up there can. Uh, air horns, you got numbers all over the train, 10219, that is of course the set number. Uh, and the tippy camera can show you that there's like little buttons on the uh, fuel tanks, the brown things. I guess those could be the hookups for the fuel line. Uh, you got dynamic brake places, you got big flared radiators up top, I'm really going up and down here. And then of course you got the really cool Mayor's Blue paint job, which is always appreciated. Uh, around back you got some lights, another Mayor's sticker, but yeah, this thing really means good. What's cool is that you can open it up, the uh, cab is held on by two studs, you can pop it right open, you got a little interior details there, you got a seat and a control panel, sorry, it's shine, yeah, there's the control panel. Uh, cab, just a cab, I guess. But the coolest detail is in the back, and I'm gonna uh, open it up for you. So as you can see, these large side panels just pop right off. They're only held on by nine studs each, here and along the bottom. And inside, there's a huge, incredibly detailed, really nice to have engine. It's got a wrench on it, and I think that might just be like, a control of some sort. Uh, you can see cylinders up here, all the engine blocks. It's just really detailed. Uh, it's hard to kind of describe to you, but it's a really good addition to this set, and I really like it. it uh, when you want to motorize this and add power functions, though, you have to take it out, which, I don't know, could be a good thing, because then you have a really good looking engine sitting around. Uh, also, you get this stack of Mayor's Blue Bricks right here. That gets taken out for the infrared receiver. Uh, I have all the power functions to motorize this, and I'm gonna actually later do a whole review on this set plus power functions. It's gonna be pretty short though. So that's about enough of the engine. Now it's time to move on to the two identical container cars. I'll only be showing one because they're exactly the same. So here is one of the two identical container cars. I put the white refrigerated container in so I can show you that. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty very few pieces. It's pretty much only this large gray train base plate. Uh, but almost all the added pieces are in that great Maersk blue. There's a sticker right here, and there's one matching it on the other side. Just a little Maersk logo and says Maersk. Uh, back here, you got some railings and a cool handbrake, which actually turns really easily thanks to its Technic mounting. Over here, you just get a little grill. Uh, standard new magnetic couplers, just like the engine. Uh, same around this side. So now for the, and that's the same for both of these cars. Uh, now for the refrigerated container. I think it's really cool. I'm glad that they didn't just have three of the same because it would be boring to build. But same standard stuff. Maersk stickers. Maersk again. But over here is where it gets different. You have a little Maersk logo up top, another sticker, and then you have the refrigeration detailing, which it's got cool greebling. You got a pair of binoculars. I just realized I'm missing a piece here, but. Supposed to have a little cylinder, um, grill tile, piece mon modified, printed up to look like a grill, and then two little gauges. So I mean, the refrigerated container is really cool. I like having this variety of containers. So that's about it. I'm gonna sum it up now. All right. So as you can see, this is an excellent set. It's got everything you need to have an incredibly realistic, high-powered looking, just powerful big huge train but it is only a display set and you know it doesn't come with a motor it gives you instructions on how to motorize them but you have to buy like 50 bucks worth of power functions just to motorize it and it doesn't have as much playability once you add the power functions as the other cargo train which costs about the same with power functions that one has the same sort of stuff containers things but as a tank car as well as a big crane but I have to say, I'd get this and power functions. Because this train just looks incredible. It's massive. It's detailed. It's just. It's made for older people, not like little kids trying to, with their first Lego train. This is a proper thing. I love all the Mayor's Kablu. I love all the stickers. It gets a little tiring putting them all on, but they add so much to the set. Uh, the three minifigures are great, they're blue hats, 
are fantastic and rare and just different. The whole color scheme of the set is absolutely fantastic and it's just a great set. I mean, I bought two of them. So yeah, I love this set. It's got everything and you should definitely get one if you have LEGO Train stuff already. Have about $180, you can get it and motorize it. You can get two, have an extra long train. But yeah, totally try to get this set. It's absolutely fantastic and completely worth the money. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my review of two of them and my review of the set with power functions included. Thank you. Bye.